Welcome back guys. So now we're going to do part two, part two of trigonometry. Let me take you through the presentation. So now, this will be part two. So focus on the lesson, we look at um, compound angle identity, and then we look, also look at the double angle identity. So now, Compound angle identities, the compound angle identities, they are given in the information sheet of all mathematics papers as follows. Sin alpha plus beta is equal to sin alpha multiplied by cos beta plus. So for sin is plus plus, plus cos alpha multiplied by sin beta. Then sin alpha minus beta is equal to sin alpha multiplied by cos beta minus minus cos alpha multiplied by sin beta. Then for cos, it will be cos alpha plus beta, which is equal to cos alpha multiplied by cos beta minus plus minus sin alpha sin beta. So for so cos alpha minus beta, it will be cos alpha multiplied by cos beta minus then plus sin alpha multiplied by sin beta. So now, memorize this. Let's, how do we memorize this? We can do like this, sin alpha plus, sin alpha, sin A, it would be plus or minus beta, which is equal to sin A cos B, plus or minus sin A cos A sin B. So here for, for, for sin is plus or minus, plus or minus. But here for cos, it will be cos of alpha plus or minus beta, which is equals to cos A cos B minus or plus sin A sin b. So note that here is plus or minus, here it will be minus or plus. Here is plus, minus, plus, minus. So you can do like this, sign for sign. I say sign is quite the same as, which means the sign does not change, it's the same, sign is to change. Here for cos, for cos, sign will change. That's why I say cos is quite to change. So sign c, c, s, s, sign will change. Okay, now let's drive the compound angle formula. So proof, cos of alpha plus beta is equals to cos of alpha minus the negative angle. We talked about negative angle, so that negative and negative will be positive, it will be here. So now, which will be cos alpha multiplied by Cause you just apply using those rules, you apply the formula. Cause of negative beta plus sine alpha multiplied by sine negative beta. So here it would be cause alpha, we talked about negative angle for cause is always positive, it would be equals beta plus sine alpha multiplied by for negative is always negative, it would be negative sine beta. So negative and positive, it would be negative here. So you've got cause alpha, cause beta minus sin alpha, sin beta, then proven. So now for this proof, sin of alpha plus beta, here we use the co-functions. It will be equal to cos of 90 minus angle. What is the angle? Angle is a alpha plus beta. So here we, we work with the co-functions. So which will be equal to, you, you distribute, you remove the brackets, it will be negative alpha, negative beta here. So for cos, First, we work with 90 minus alpha at the first angle. So you apply the compound angles, those formulas for compound angles, cos of 90 minus alpha multiplied by cos of beta plus sine of 90 minus alpha multiplied by sine of beta. So here cos 90 minus alpha, because this is a co-function, it will be sine alpha multiplied by cos beta. So here, because sine 90 minus alpha, first quadrant, it will be a co-function, to change to co-function of cos alpha, multiplied by sine beta. So now, 
um, sine of alpha minus beta, it would be equal to cos of 90, you change, it, you change this into a co-function, so you minus the angle, the angle is alpha minus beta, so you remove the bracket, it will be minus alpha plus beta. So now we work with beta, so now we apply the formula, we apply the compound formula. So it will be cos of 90 plus beta multiplied by cos of alpha plus sine of 90 plus beta multiplied by sine alpha. Here, cos of 90 plus beta, there is negative. So in this region, it's negative. So you will have negative. Then beta is a co-function. It will change over years. Then cos alpha plus cos here sine to change to co function is cos beta sine a. So you have got sine alpha cos beta minus, you've got this minus cos alpha sine beta. You just rearrange it. It's simple. Now let's look at the example number one. You have given cos 5x cos 2x plus sine 5x multiplied by sine 2x. So here you've got cos cos, so you are going to use the compound for cos, obvious. So for cos, if it's plus, it will be 5x minus 2x. So you'll end up having cos of 5x minus 2x. If it's plus, it will be negative. So 5x minus 2x is 3x. Example number two, simplify the following. We have given sin 20 cos 10 plus cos 20 sin 10. So here is sin cos, this is a user compound angle for sine. It would be sine of 20 plus 10. So it would be sine of 20 plus 10 is plus plus. So then sine 30, which is equivalent to 1 over 2. So now let's look at example number 3. Simplify the following. Cos of 90 minus theta. So you use the compound, use those compound angles. You expand here by a compound angles. So you'll end up having cos of 90, cos of theta plus, plus minus, then it will be plus sine of 90 multiplied by sine theta. So cos 90 here, it will be zero. Then cos theta here is cos theta plus sine 90 is one multiplied by sine theta. So here it will be zero plus one multiplied by sine theta, which is sine theta. And then now, Let's look at example number four. Show that in 15 is equals to root of three minus one over two root of two. So here you just manipulate with the special angles, right? You manipulate with the special angles because here you've got these numbers for, we are coming for, from special angles. So you just manipulate. So here it will be 45 minus six. So it's an 15, I said this was to 45 minus 30 degrees. So you just, exp then you expand this, sign 45 multiplied by cos 30 minus cos 45 sine 30. Then sign the, 45 is one over root of two, cos 30 is root of three over two minus cos 45 is one over root of two, sign theta said is one over two. So here, root of, 1 multiplied by root of 3, it will be root of 3, and then 2 multiplied by root of 2, it will be root 2, root of 2, minus 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, 2 multiplied by root of 2 is 2 root 2. So now the LCD, lowest common denominator here is 2 root of 2, which will, and then here, it will be root of 3 minus 1, and then you, you're done. So this is your home task. Do not use a calculator to answer the question. Show all the calculation proof that cos 75 is cos root of 2 into root of 3 minus 1 over 4. Here you can work with the special angles again. Uh, it will be 45 plus 30. And then you manipulate with the compound angles. This should be simple. Okay. Now, don't, if you've got any question, you can write on the comments. I can assist you. So now, let's look at the double angle identity, double angle identity, okay? So now 
here the double angle identity like compound angles you can also use double angles to simplify solve and prove double angle identities they are given in the information sheet of all mathematics papers at the back as follows sine 2 alpha is equal to 2 sine a cos a right 2 sine 2 alpha is equal to 2 sine alpha multiplied by cos alpha so or cos 2 alpha is equal to cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha so this is the parent this is the fundamental for cos then you can substitute the you can substitute the the square identity to get all these data i call this data identities for cos this is the parent and then these two are daughters now for us to drive the double angle identity let's drive sine 2 alpha so you know that sine 2 alpha is equal to sine alpha plus alpha to give us 2 alpha so now we use the compound angles here sine alpha it will be sine alpha multiplied by cos alpha plus cos alpha multiplied by sine alpha and then here is 1 1 it will be 2 multiplied by cos alpha multiplied by sine alpha proven so now let's drive for cos 2 alpha you have got cos 2 alpha is equals to cos of alpha plus alpha right to give us 2 alpha here so you, you apply the compound angle to be cos alpha cos alpha minus sin alpha sin alpha so cos and cos is cos squared alpha sin and sin is sin squared alpha right i said this is the parent identity of course for cos 2a so now remember you have got sin squared alpha plus cos squared alpha is equals to one we say this is a square identity from grade 11 and then so we replace if we make sin squared alpha subject to the formula we'll have one minus cos squared alpha so if we make cos squared alpha subject to the formula you'll have one minus cos squared alpha you just rearrange it now double angle so for cos squared alpha minus sin squared alpha so here it was minus sin squared alpha so if we just substitute here by those two tasks you will get cos squared alpha minus into one minus cos squared alpha right which will give you cos squared alpha minus one plus cos squared alpha which will give you two cos squared alpha minus one that are the formula for double angle of course okay now for cos squared alpha minus sin squared alpha if you substitute now for cos you write one minus sin squared alpha minus sin squared alpha you will get one minus two sin squared alpha so these are also identities now let's look at the example simplify the following so you're given sin 2 x multiplied by cos x over 2 cos 90 minus x minus tan 180 minus x cos 180 plus x and x so here for sine it will be negative here it will be negative and then for cos of 180 plus x it will be negative cos x and then for tan 180 it will be negative negative which is negative tan x and then sine 2x it will be 2 sin x cos x multiplied by cos x and then here it will be 2 cos of 2 multiplied by so here you have got here you have got a um, co-function so it means that sign will change to cos it will be sign so now here i said you have got sign 2x here i said that so here it was a co-function so this turn you can also change it to sine over cos right and then here the negative and negative will cancel the negative and negative to make it positive and then you have got your sine x here so sine x and sine x will cancel out then you are left with two and two will cancel out then you are left with cos squared x and then this side cos and cos will cancel out then you are left with sine x and sine x which will be sine squared x which will give you one okay so now example number 
6. Prove that 10x is 10x over 2 sin squared x is equal to 2 cos squared x minus cos 2x over sin 2x. So here you can prove both sides because here you've got uh, also, you can change this to sin over cos and then you can also change this, right? So here you can also change this double angle and also this double angle. So you can work from both sides. Okay, so your left hand side will be sin x over cos x, 2 over by sin squared x, which is equal to sin x, then you multiply it by 1 over 2 sin x, so it will be 2 sin squared x here, right? Which will be sin x and sin x will cancel out, then you are left with 1, so it will be 1 over 2 cos x, multiplied by sin x, and then on your right hand side, you have got 2 cos squared x minus this uh, identity, compared to identity, for cos, then you change it to 2 cos squared x minus 1 because here already you have got cos so that they can be in the same ratio, right? Or single function. So over 2 cos x and x. So 2 cos squared x minus 2 cos squared x is, it will be 2 cos squared x, here it will be 0, and then minus minus, it will be 1. Here, yeah, it will be positive 1 over this. So left hand side is equal to right hand side, then proven. So now, example number seven, prove the following two minus cos squared x minus two sin x over cos squared x. So this will equal to one minus sin x over one plus sin x. So now your left hand side, you can also change, you change the two here, if you change this 2 into 2 multiplied by 1, right? You can say 2, this 2 here, it will be 1 plus 1, right? It's okay, it will be 1 plus 1. Now you have got 1 plus 1 minus cos squared x, then which will give you 1 plus sin squared x here, right? Minus 2 sin x over 1 minus sin squared x. Here from this one, you can also write 1 minus and squared x at the denominator. Okay, so, and then now you, you can manipulate here. This is simple mathematics. You just rearrange to get this over 1 minus and squared x. Then you can factorize here, right? On your trinomials, it will be 1 and 1, sine and sine right, minus and minus. So on the denominator, you do the same, you factorize, it will be one and one, sine and sine, then minus and plus. Then this and this will cancel out. One minus an x and one minus an x will cancel out. Then you are left with one minus an x over one plus an x, which is close to right hand side. So now, this is your home task. Cos of 90 minus two x, sine of 180 plus x plus, sin squared x, 360 minus x equals to 3 sin squared x, 7 max, tan of, tan of um, x minus 1, sin of 2x minus 2 cos squared x is equals to 2 into 1 minus 2 sin x cos x. So you can work on these problems. If you have got any question, write on the comments. I will assist you. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.